Okay, well, here we are, Rich. <laughs> Made it halfway. What are we, third? Halfway up the Oh, coast? yeah, actually, probably, yeah, close to third. Yeah. This is Rich McDonald, and he's, you know, we're sort of tagging along and he's tripped up to the Cape and we're well, yeah, halfway up the telly track, so we've caught on Dad and another mate of Rich's uh, Shana. So yeah, I mean, thought we'd just have a quick walk around the trail because Rich has got a um, nice little dot here, dot 090. How old is it, like four years or something? Uh, it's over three, yeah, over yeah. three years now. So it was a base trailer, wasn't it? Base with? trailer, so yeah, it didn't have the, um, no didn't have the canopy at start, it just used to have a little lid you used to put on hedges for me. Yeah, so it's a full on up. base trailer, wasn't it? But base, yep. Yeah, no, so no frame. Did it have an awning? It had an awning, it just had a, uh, the usual rapid wing. So oh, yeah. I ended up yeah. getting the kitchen in, so it wasn't going to cover the kitchen, so I ended up getting the big square back. Yeah. Um, and, then, and, and then you bought it back, what, four months ago? So you bought up the Cape straight up, didn't you, when you got it? Pretty well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So you already done this trip with, with the base trailer? Yep. Like yep. three years ago, something, wasn't it? Uh, two years ago, yeah. two years ago now, yeah. And then you bought it back and you got the, um, how'd it go on that trip? Go, oh, go great, on. yeah, no dramas at all. You just like, got a big, um, yeah, just, wary of the overhanging branches with the yeah but you know you've done a good thing there you've um set it back you set it back so. yeah. um, and um how you liking with the new canopy and that like oh it's awesome yeah it's some stuff in here so you brought it down and we fitted the canopy and then um the kitchen as well one of the fridge and um the canopy the kitchen the wood box and then you put another battery in the in a bigger charger yeah for the fridge so there's a whole bunch of junk in there. So yeah, you, you put the bigger um, DC DC um, charger in there, the bigger 240 volt and the second battery. Yeah. And that wood box. Yeah. And this has been good, eh? Carrying all your fuel. Yeah. And then and then I sent sent you the eye camper and um, hardly recognisable the eye camper, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And there. you just put that on yourself, didn't you? Yeah, I just put that on uh, myself. The, the the rack was ready to go. Just put it on. A bit tight getting in there, though, with the. Um, <laughs> It's a bit fiddly, but um. And so um. Yeah, so you got the medium canopy, and on the back here you just got your Weber. You got two Webers. Well, we're just taking the other um, lads for to eat, um, drink some beer. It's got no room to eat. Yeah. So you got to, because this is a thing is with this. That's the seven foot, right? Seven foot. Yep. Like that's a long trailer. So if you've got like three or four kids and you want to trailer to um, yeah, hold all your gear, like we do a lot of equipment trails, but it's, nothing wrong with 7 eh? like no, it's got no. heaps of room and this track, this is a tele track, it's pretty tight eh, up and around yeah, all the, you know, a lot of tracks go around tree stumps and um, I mean this has been going beautifully, eh? we've been following it for the last, you know, all day, me and Kaido, yep. and um, you know, because a few people think that the 7 foot is too long to be able to get around tight tracks, but oh, not, not at all, eh? yeah, no, I mean, not you at know, all. you're driving well, you're watching it course, but Hasn't been even close, eh? Hey. Yeah, you just got to be steady and have your mirrors, just get, check the mirrors all the time. So you got the little web and that's already connected up, eh? Hey. So you can just take that cover off. Yeah, yeah and just take the cover off. Cook your pies up. Yeah. Ten minutes later. Mm -hmm. Well, two hours, was it two hours last night? Yeah, it was a bit late, but anyway. Yeah. And so you got a big storage box. How many cans of beer have you got in here? Like it holds over 300 cans of beer. Oh, so we're getting through them now, yeah, aren't we? Look. We're getting through it. A bit of weight on it. Oh, so yeah, there's... That goes um, seven foot long, eh? So this is only halfway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three hundred cans of beer. So we got to get through them before we get out of the jardine. So. Oh yeah. So that's working good. And you've also got. Whoa, holy crap! You can feel them. Yeah. We need a bit of silicon spray in that. Then you've also got your uh, pantry drawers in the front here. Yep. Yeah. So uh, that's working all right. Pantry there, and just a little place. Um, pop it there, and we've just got your. Um, oh, that's out of the way, but just we've just got the two uh, milk crate bags and just got all our like chips and bickies and stuff like that. Yeah, and then it's been bouncing around a bit. Put that in the car later. And yeah. and um, back awning. So, did you get rid of the rapid wing, didn't you? No, no, it's on my car. Oh, okay, it's up on the car now. Yeah. So it's, you can see with the medium canopy and a seven footer, you've got a ton of room in the back here, eh? Like yeah, it's pretty good oh, space. You can put a lot of gear there. Picked up a Max Trax at, what was that, Palm we Creek? That. We lost one and so gained one. Last one, we found a dirty old tread. Lost a good one and got a shit one. So seven foot big kitchen with a six litre fridge. Yep. Heaps of room. And then, um, and then you got the eye camp as well. Yep. John's sleeping up in that. So yeah. He's up in the penthouse. 
dad's been up there and, uh, and that fits up there pretty good doesn't it like it just fits perfect doesn't it the yeah, width oh, and the length perfect, yep. and um so look at that wood box so we call this wood box but what have you had three jerry cans in had there three jerrys and just a bag of charcoal yeah charcoal on the outside rubbish bag and and what, have you got two tanks on this? Did no, you? just the 180 litre and that's all we... we single 80. Single 80 and just yeah. the two jerrys of so water. So um, sort of centre mounted. Yep. And one thing I've noticed too, because you know, we've been following you this whole way, that's a... they got parallel bearings and a 7 leaf pack. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the 33 inch tyres. Those yeah. 33 inch tyres for a leaf spring I think are really good, eh? Because yeah. What are you down, 20 psi? Just 20. Yeah, 20 in there. They are running so beautifully. I think if you're looking to run the leaf springs, having a little bit bigger tyres to go because it just rolls over things so much easier. You actually put those bigger leaf springs in for me. Um, once I got the, um, the canopy done and the, the drawers in the, in the kitchen, yeah, um, yeah, you, you put the heavier duty yeah. springs. It must have one a six actually. leaf and then we've gone to a seven. Yeah, yeah. And um, so look at this cutter here. Look at that. I mean, this has got, as you know, fully loaded. That spring is just sitting perfectly. Like it's, you can tell it's not overloading. Uh, overloading. Yep. And uh, we've been watching it, and it's just riding so nice. Oh, I got someone else in the truck. Who's that? Oh, I know. Yeah. So, all right, we'll pull it apart later on tonight, and we'll give a bit of a walk around of the trailer once it's all open up and show you. But yeah, it's really nice to drive behind this, and it's running beautifully. So, um, I think you know, a leaf spring. Only it's a seven pack. It's um, riding so nice, and also with the 33, it's a little bit extra high. And um, with 20 psi in the tyres, I mean, most of your suspension is, is you know, is, is taken up in your tyre itself. So it's running so nice, and um, you know, the perception that you've got to have independent to come on these tracks is just total nonsense. So, and even the seven footer running beautifully. So, bye right, guys, chat you later on. Right over here, we are at Nolan's Brook top of the telly truck and um, yeah we've made it all through a lot of us so yeah it's been an awesome trip and um, show you a bit more later all about it but yeah it's been a brilliant time and um, awesome bunch of blokes and here with Kaido and also my dad so three generations and uh, yeah we weren't quite sure if we we're going to make it because uh, this is pretty deep this last crossing here but we sort of um, got through you'll see that and um, yeah, we just thought I'd take a chance to just quickly show the trailer all set up. It's the uh, Dot 7 Equip Leaf Sprung. And uh, so, there's heaps of footage there you'll see of the trailer. You know, it's a very tight tracks here in spots. There's a lot of logs down and people are driven around the logs and it's a very tight track. And this is a 7 foot trailer. You know, I had a few people there at our fan event last weekend and um, they were not undecided between a 6 and a 7. They thought, you know, a 7 is, is too long and too hard to get around the tight tracks, but not at all, you know. And we've definitely proven that, showing how we've, we've um, coped the last five days. But uh, this trailer with the leaf sprung is um, spring over axle, so you got, you know, plenty of uh, clearance. That's very important. So. You know, we've really noticed that having that high high sitting trailer is important. Um, and also, these are 33 inch tyres, so that's the other thing. Is um, a track like this having those bigger tyres um, really helps. You know, rolling over the obstacles and the ruts and everything else. So the bigger tyres are uh, having the 33s is great. Like you can really notice on your truck 265 to 285s you can just drive quicker over rough tracks because you roll a lot better. And so I think it's the same for the trailer. So I think a bigger tire on a trailer is definitely an advantage. Um, now this has got the eye camper on top as well, so it's not much difference from our walk-up style trailers. Okay, so it's an equipped trailer. It's ex the same height as our walk-ups. You know, it's a high trailer, but the center of gravity is still very low. Everything from here up is very light. We'll say from this deck up is, is very little weight. All the weight's down low. Yeah, leaf sprung, so a seven leaf pack, uh, parallel bearings, and you know, you'll see it as well. I mean, having the big tyres, the high ground clearance, that's what really makes a difference. That's the main thing. The springs are fine, and you know, for people saying that leaf sprung or wondering whether they're any good, you know, it's they, they, these leaf sprungs, 
vehicles and trails built the country, you know, and they handle these tracks perfectly. And anyone who says otherwise just does not know what they're on about. Um, so, yeah, I would say the main thing for a trailer is, is is nice and high off the ground, not too wide, and keep everything tucked in. You see how we've got the awning here? Right, so that's the setback on the awning, so the awning sitting um, back inside that point. You don't want anything hanging out. Everything from this point out is going to get rubbed and scratched and torn off. So, you know, they've been calling a, calling this trailer the mule because uh, we're carrying gear from some of the other guys, you know, the Weber and Chainsaw and different things. So it's carrying gear from a dozen people, really. There was 360 cans of beer inside that. Uh, sorry, 300 cans of beer in there and also another couple of cartons inside here. So we didn't break any beer. You know, if you don't drive like a madman and just take it steady, you're not going to have any problems with a leaf sprung trailer. And um, so, yeah, a ton of beer in there. Um, we've had, Rich has got, um, he's had three jerry cans on the front, two fuel and one water, another water on the side here. We've had heaps of firewood, um, heaps of gear. So, just the old Oz hitch as well. You know, really, it does the job perfectly. And uh, I've just tied that up with a bit of leather. This this uh, boot lace leather we got, which is the off-cut of our belts and a lot of uh, stirrup straps, is awesome for just tying stuff up. I'm using it everywhere now. But just the uh, Oz hitch is fine. Yeah, we've got a um, six litre fridge. Got two batteries in this, so um, Rich has got um, the old six litre Evercool. That's been powering on and those twin batteries are coping really well so that's been running flat out um, 60 litres all our gear in here and the big DPR as well so Rich has got uh, our milk crate bags very popular bag and also um, the little the lid that goes on top so it's a milk crate lid and that's Rich, <coughs> Richard was one of the first ones to ask me for those which means that you can sit on it or stand on it so that's quite a good idea the, the lid on the milk crate, so we've got all food in there. Yeah, he's got Dad in his truck and his mate Shane, so three of them in the vehicle. Uh, me and Cotter, we've been using this as our kitchen and our base as well, so it's sort of the base this on this camp for five people, plus we're carrying gear for a few other people as well, so definitely lived up to its name of being the mule. This is dot 090, so it's a fairly old dot as well, it's um, four, at least four years old. And some of the tracks we've been through, which you'll be able to see, you know, they're it's pretty tough uh, tracks up here in the telly track and cope no problems at all, like not an issue at all. The the brakes have been really handy. Rich is when he's dropping down into the creeks, he's been turning the brakes right up, and you'll hear a lot of that creaking. But that's because he's got the brakes turned right up, so he's using the trail as a bit of an anchor when he's dropping down. Rich's truck's gone really well, no problem. Got a lot of drifter gear, Rich. A lot of bags. Yeah, he loves his drifter bags. Um, he's got a big um, rooftop bag on the top there. Back the truck's full of drifter bags. The drifter rapid wing awning. We haven't really needed to use that. Rear wheel bags are going great. And I've got a heap of ideas for new stuff as well. So yeah, that's it really. Just wanted to quickly show you the trailer, how we set it up. These bags here are awesome. That's rubbish from about two or three days. That's the drifter rubbish bag. So we've just had this um, velcro it up, roll it up, zip, uh, strap it on the top of the 76, and um, that's been great. Eye camper up top there. My dad's been sleeping up in the eye camper. And uh, super quick and easy to set up, so that's been great. And yeah, I just put a this bit of this floor mesh up here. It's got a fairly hot sun coming in this afternoon, so again with the uh, boot lace leather the off cuts we'll have that on the website later on we're not that, that's we'll be selling that it's just all off cuts from our belts and everything and you know, normally you might use a zip tie in areas like that and zip ties of course you got to cut them and then you we see them on the ground everywhere so the leather strapping is brilliant for just tying things up we'll do a bit of a review on the truck uh, shortly and also the recovery gear but one thing stood out this trip has been these soft shackles they've been absolutely brilliant you know, there's been times where we've had to get a recovery going very quick with vehicles stuck in the middle of a creek and these soft shackles, one thing I've learned about them, like we know they're light, they're super tough, they're easy to use. You know, they're, 
100 grams versus a, a, a kilogram and I've got six of them and I've been using all of them so that would be six kilos that I don't have to carry but they're so quick as well and if you've got a you know you'll see recovery there we've got to get something hooked up real quick these are so quick bang like that where you muck around with these trying to do them and undo them and you can't get them undone and they're jammed up so that's another advantage I learned today that these are super fast and sometimes that's very important so just had them hang in there which has been good so I can grab them as I need them. Yeah so me and Kyle will do a bit of a review on the truck later on on the way back with the next few days and um, we'll also show you a bit more of the recovery gear but yeah that's it really so that's our trip to um, up the Cape with our good mate Rich McDonald. Brilliant guy and uh, very lucky he's invited us along and we've been able to come on, the, on this trip with these guys. They're all a big bunch of mates that we, we haven't sort of met before except for Richard and uh, very good of him to invite us along. And uh, we've had a brilliant time and really appreciate that. Rightio, no worries. <laughs>